The greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Hi guys, just a quick rant. Uh, this morning I was out exercising and accidentally stepped on a bug. I saw it squirming and trying to get back up, but then I realised it was quite severely injured. So I moved it to a blade of dewy grass in the morning sun in the vain hope that it might experience some sense of comfort before it succumbs to its injuries. I then thought, if I really wanted to help this bug, what could I do? The only person qualified enough to do anything really would be the nearby vet. Then I thought, imagine that, me walking into a vet with a squirming bug in my hand. They'd think I've lost my mind. They may even get angry at me and tell me to stop wasting their precious time. But then I started thinking, what is the role of a vet? If they would be completely dismissive of treating an injured bug, which I think most, if not all vets would be, what then is their role? Of course vets would be happy to treat an injured puppy or cat if the owner was willing to pay the fee. They're happy to work for the meat industry, treating sick cows and pigs, which I've always found quite ironic, knowing where the animals will end up. They'll gladly help out an injured elephant or giraffe at the zoo or an injured racehorse at the racetrack. But would they help out a struggling pigeon or sparrow? Will they treat that injured rat or field mouse? It seems that as the animals progressively get smaller, the chances of finding a vet willing to help also becomes progressively smaller. Now of course, I can't speak for all vets, but I think we could all agree that a vet typically will not treat an injured fly. Unless of course, there was a large sum of money involved. So what am I trying to say? Well, my conclusion is that the role of the vet is not for animals, but for people. Typically speaking, vets only treat animals that people have an interest in. Puppies, cats, tick, gnats, rats, bzzz. Of course, you could probably come up with some examples of vets who treat injured wildlife, but then again, it's only the animals that we show interest in. Koalas, cute, injured spider, get that thing away from me. I remember helping a neighbour about 15 years ago. Their budgie had a small growth on its neck. We took it to the vet and the vet told us that it would cost about $800 to remove the tumour, but there would be no guarantee that the bird would live. We asked if there was any alternative. The response came quickly, as if it was well rehearsed. Well, we could put him to sleep for $60. My neighbour rang her parents to see what they wanted her to do, and their response was equally swift. $800? Get f***ed! We'll go with the $60. Anyway, that was the end of that story and the end of that bird. Look, I'm not trying to say that vets are evil, of course not, but their role is not to help animals, but to serve people. Thanks for watching.